Weird, the Al Yankovic story just came out to Roku streaming services, and this is probably one of the funniest comedies I've seen this year. The movie was written and directed by Eric Appel, who created the skit by the same name on Funnier Die's YouTube channel. It's only about three minutes long, with Aaron Paul, who plays Weird Al in this, and it's almost beat for beat pretty much half of this movie. Speaking of Funnier Die, if this is what they can do with movies, then they need to make way more, because I haven't seen a comedy like this in years years. This brings me back to all the great comedies that we used to get in the early 2000s. I'm a huge Weird Al Yankovic fan and I've been listening to his music since I was a kid so when I heard this movie was announced I was super excited. This is through and through a parody on biopic movies with its hilariously over exaggeration of the truth and it's obviously outright lies but it all works so perfectly well in this. Daniel Radcliffe who was handpicked by Al to play him does a fantastic job in this movie and his comedic timing was so great in this. This movie is jam-packed with cameos from comedy actors to comedians and other musicians. Also, Weird Al makes a cameo in this and it is hilarious. Now, I will say, if you are a fan of Weird Al, then you are gonna love this movie. From all the references to his music and music videos, to how he creates his songs in the movie was just so funny. Also, little easter eggs that we get from his other movie, UHF, was so great. If you're not a Weird Al fan, I feel like you might not get a lot of these references and I don't know if you will find this movie as funny as some others, but hopefully you guys can still enjoy it. This movie was just such a blast. It goes from a satirical comedy to an outright action flick at one point with some really good and impressive fight choreography. The beginning when he's a kid and he sneaks out to go to a polka party was so hilarious. And the dialogue in this is just so smart. Like it's just so funny and the comedic timing on everybody's part is really good. I haven't laughed this much during a movie in a long time. This movie is available on the Roku streaming app and I hope it does come to other streaming apps because on the Roku one, you do have to watch about five commercials during it and it's kind of annoying to stop every 20 minutes. In all, I had such a fun time with this movie. The music was great, the jokes that they make on other biopics, and the writing was just really good. This is why I give Weird, the Al Yankovic story, an 8.5 out of 10. If you guys like this review, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more, hit that follow button. And as always, thanks for watching.